Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in the previous lecture, we have discussed about nomenclature of internal combustion engine and its significance and uses during the thermal calculations. So in this lecture, we are going to see what is a SI engine means the spark ignition engine. Let's get into it. So what is a SI engine or a spark ignition engine? Spark ignition engine is nothing but a four stroke engine. So what do you mean by four stroke? Four stroke is nothing but the engine in which the whole thermodynamic cycle completes in the four strokes of a piston. So it means that the four processes which are suction is the first process second one is a compression third one is a combustion and last one is a exhaust whenever this four processes completes within the two revolution of the crankshaft it means that it is a four stroke engine so there are two major types of four stroke engine one is a si engine and another one is a ci engine which is a compression ignition engine we will discuss about ci engine more in our next lecture so today's topic is specifically regarding si engine means the spark ignition so as the name suggests spark ignition engine means the ignition process starts because of the spark at the end of the compression so as the name suggests that this type of engine uses the spark plug to produce the ignition at the end of the compression stroke let me show you how it works so the first major step of a four stroke engine is nothing but a suction so first step is a suction so what happens in this suction step so suction is nothing but a suction of a air and fuel mixture so in this case air plus fuel so what do you mean by this fuel so this fuel is petrol so in the si engine petrol is the fuel to produce the combustion process so the air and fuel mixture gets into the combustion chamber by the inlet wall so in this step the inlet wall is open inlet wall is open and the exhaust wall is closed as during the suction the fuel and air mixture is admitted so definitely the outlet wall or output wall is closed so this process is very simple so the inlet wall is connected to the inlet manifold so in the inlet manifold there is a component called as a carburetor so what happens in the carburetor is carburetor is the device which is used to make the air and fuel mixture homogeneous so what happens in the carburetor is the homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture is prepared in the carburetor so this homogeneous mixture will be admitted into the combustion chamber during the suction process it is very simple so during this suction process this piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center so this distance is as we know this distance is called as a stroke so this distance is l so that means stroke so during this process piston moves from tdc to bdc so it's a half revolution crankshaft makes half revolution during this process the crankshaft moves from here to here so this is a half rotation of the crankshaft so one process is completed of a si engine so the next process is compression let me clear this so we have cleared so far suction the second one is a compression 
so what happens during the compression so in the compression piston moves from bottom dead center again to the top dead center and the half revolution of the crankshaft happens because of that the air and fuel mixture inside the combustion chamber get compressed compressed means the distance between the molecules gets reduced because of which the pressure build up is happens so pressure gets increases so as we know pressure is inversely proportional to the volume so as we know as the piston moves from bdc to tdc that means the total volume which is a here is the vc and here is a vs so vc plus vs is obviously going to decrease so that means the volume is going to reduce and our next property is pressure is directly proportional to temperature so as the pressure gets increased so temperature also increases in the compression process the pressure and temperature is going to increase so at the end of the compression stroke what should happen the combustion process but to conduct the combustion process there is not enough temperature to self ignite the petrol fuel so it will need a spark plug whenever the piston moves from bdc to tdc at this end of this compression stroke the spark plug produces a spark so because of the spark of generation this air this compressed air fuel mixture gets ignited and produces a tremendous amount of pressure on the wall of this piston so as we know because of which we get our next process which is a combustion so at the end of the compression stroke there is a combustion because of the spark plug and the tremendous amount of pressure generated that pressure is known as a power output power output so because of this the piston again moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center so again it moves the half rotation of the crankshaft and we get the power output so what happens is that du during the end of this combustion process the piston is at a bdc and we have a residual gases inside this combustion chamber so what happens is that residual gases we can call it as a burn gas so we have to exert this burn gas outside this combustion chamber because for the next cycle we need the fresh air and fuel mixture so this burned gas should be exerted outside the combustion chamber so the last process is exhaust so the, our last process is exhaust during which the burned gas is exerted outside the combustion chamber to start the next cycle what happens in the exhaust stroke is that the piston moves from bdc to tdc which will emit this residual gas outside the combustion chamber and also outside the engine by the exhaust manifold so we have covered what is a exhaust manifold in our previous lecture so please watch that lecture to get more clarification on this manifold so these are the basic four processes what happens inside the petrol engine so in this case we use the petrol as a fuel type and we use a spark plug to ignite the fuel at the end of the compression stroke fuel type is let me clear this so in the si engine fuel type is petrol and for ignition we use spark plug so these are the two major points in the petrol engine or a si engine so in the ci engine instead of the spark plug we use a fuel injector regarding the ci engine or a compression ignition engine we will discuss it in our next lecture and also we need to compare this both engine si engine versus ci engine that we will cover in our next lecture so i hope you got the clear understanding regarding what is a si engine 
what is the fuel type what is the function of a spark plug and its various processes such as suction compression power output combustion and the last one is a exhaust process i hope you like this video so please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to click on the notification bell to get latest updates thanks for watching